Game started. Okay, Rolf. I played Rolf before. From uh, Puerto Rico, Chile. Okay, D4. Let's try D5. See what we get. We get the. Um, <laughs> Is this a Trumpowski? Let's see, if I if I play the knight out here, I'll probably just take it. It's a very extreme, extreme Trumpowski, right? He played the bishop there even before I played the knight there. I'll just kick the bishop and see where it's going. I mean, that pin is very awkward. I, I can't move my e-pawn, so I'm just going to uh, fix that at the cost of uh, creating, of course, kingside weaknesses. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I won't end up getting squashed like my last game. Well, I don't have to castle on the king side. Uh, he likes to move his bishop, huh? But, uh, well, it won't, uh, it won't double my pawns at least if he takes the knight. I think I'm going to play knight to uh, d7 here. Threaten to take the bishop, and where the bishop can just drop back. If I take it, say knight d7, and he develops a piece. I take, he takes, I move the knight. That should be okay, but if he kicks the knight, it doesn't have a lot of good squares to go to. Hmm. I'll think about it. I still want to develop the uh, develop the knight anyway. The other way to play it would be knight to a. No, knight to a five is not possible because it's guarded by the queen. Knight to a five defends the bishop and threatens to actually win a pawn there, but uh, can't play it as long as his queen is guarding a five. Well, I'll give him something to think about. Maybe he's going to worry about me taking his bishop, even if I don't actually take it. <clears throat> and uh, what else can I play? I mean, I thought just a normal developing move for, for white would be good here. Knight to, knight to c3. Okay, but he's playing aggressively. Yeah, He's going after my weakened uh, kingside pawn structure here with that move. And... Um, Let's see. If he takes, I'll just take back. Let's prepare to castle kingside. I mean queenside. Start by taking the knight. I mean take the bishop. I'll take with uh, maybe his d-pawn. So he puts pressure on my d-pawn. I move the knight out of the way. And uh, he can't chase my knight easily. So let's do this. Now he doesn't have the move... Uh, f3 anymore to chase my knight away. That's what I was saying, because the f-pawn has gone past that. So the best he can do, if he wants to get rid of this knight, is um, take it with a piece and uh, maybe win a pawn if he does that. I've got bishop to f5 defending the knight. Bishop to f5, pawn to e6, queen somewhere, and then castle queen side. And the bishop is loose on f5, so I have to check to see if he's got a tactic there. Maybe queen to um, f3. The bishop can drop back to g6. Or I could play queen to d2, d7, queen d7 defending. Okay, so he's just going to go after the knight. So if I take his knight... And uh, he can take my bishop. Let's see. If I defend my bishop, he takes, I take, he takes, I take. I get this weird pawn on uh, e5, e4, which will cramp his knight. Eh, maybe this is okay for me. Let's just, uh, this queen d7 defends the bishop so I can threaten to take his knight and allows me to castle queen side here. And then I can play more more aggressively against these um, against these pawns here. The pawns in the middle are kind of 
weird and I should try and get something against them. And the pawn on e4, my pawn on e4 stops him from developing his knight. His knight is going to go to um, e2 probably and then to g3 or to c3. Server announcer. Hitting, hitting my pawn. So I, I, it's going to be hard for me to defend that guy. Okay, so I castle now. And he moves his knight to attack my pawn. I can play f5. He can take en passant. I take back. And then he takes the pawn. Do I have any counter there? Bishop or queen to f5. Hitting the knight. Knight could just go to uh, g3. Still, I don't. I don't want to just be tied up forever to <laughs> defending that pawn. <laughs> Uh, let's castle first and see how he attacks the pawn. Maybe I will get uh, compensation in the form of uh, development here. I know f. Um, so say knight. Oh, we didn't uh, didn't play there. I was going to say if I just play my pawn to um, f5 now, he takes on passant. I can take with the. Uh, with my other e pawn. And if he doesn't take, then at least I've secured that pawn on. Um, I have secured that pawn on e4, so that might be useful at some point. I can play e6 here to shore up the f pawn. Put my rooks on the f file and start, uh, one of the rooks at least, on the f file and start pushing. <laughs> Push through. Create something, some activity over here. He can play his queen out. I guess I can take it. What else can he do here? Just castling looks like a normal move. I can just take his queen. <laughs> That's funny. It looked like a, a good move White here. Resigned. But uh, uh, it was attacking this pawn here. But of course, it's not a safe move. Well, it goes to show even uh, players higher rated than you can make mistakes, <laughs> dumb ones like that. I'm going to upload this and do a postmortem. I think uh, there were some interesting points in the opening there. We will take a look at that. See you later. Bye.